We've come all the way to Athens, Tennessee to see exactly what soapbox racing is all about and to meet the young riders who'll be taking part this weekend. The Soapbox event, which is in its 20th year, is a preliminary for the World Championships, which is in its 77th year. One rider raced in Athens when it all began 20 years ago. First year Athens ever had it, and we had to melt lead weights down to weight the car, had to build it, had to... We used a cattle scale to weigh the cars here at the local race for the first year. It's an experience. It took a lot of time. Now Josh is passing his passion for cars onto nephew Noah, racing for the first time and who is unsure of what excites him most. I don't know. Other young racers are looking forward to add to their medal collection. Yeah, I want a little bitty, like some kind of plaque thing and, and I actually got it at the police station in, in Athens. Mom said they have full faith in the racers. He hit the hay bales and he didn't get up for a little bit. So that's about the only thing that makes me nervous, but he'll do fine. We've done a lot of practice and Noah will be fine. I decided to get some advice before I went near a car. Straight and get really low. Intern Anastasia Grace from Ringgold, Georgia says I don't stand a chance as I can't drive on the right side of the road. Georgia's going to be Ireland. But I showed her. Here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheel. He's a demon and he's going to be chasing after someone. He's gaining on you, so you better. So what if I use my hands to propel me forward just a little bit? Sponsors Athens Federal Community Bank said the annual event allows families to come together outside and encourages community spirit. Of employees, kids race throughout the years and done very well. I think we made it to Akron one year. Uh, it's a great opportunity for our bank to support the community. Great opportunity to bring kids to Athens and uh, it's a wonderful uh, event. The events are open to kids from 7 to 18 and kick off this Saturday. I think I'll stick to grown-up cars from now on. In Athens, Tennessee, James Mahon, WDF News 12. Crazy costumes. And the rest of the devil's rejects rule the roost. <laughs> Body slams. Loud noises. Total wrestling mayhem, not in Atlanta or Nashville, but in Rossville. The people gather three weekends a month to experience this level of crazy fun from all ages. We live out in Chickamauga, we're here. She loves Adam Jacobs, he comes in and wrestles all the time. He'll be in November 2nd, and then she's a little cheerleader. So you'll hear them they'll both cheer on tonight and everything like that. I like the hardcore matches in wrestling because they get you pumped oh, up and they get you all game. excited. I don't know what's going on behind me. A lot of noise, a lot of confusion. People are very happy. They're enjoying themselves. These folks are hurting each other unnecessarily. The plots and characters are all larger than life and as sports go it seems as far removed from ancient wrestling as you can get. Baby, Team Temptation is it. Just push We're up, in. Baby. There you go. Come on. One, two, three. <laughs> I decided to get into the ring to figure out why Southerners truly love the sport. Get a whiff of that! <laughs> That's horrible! It's horrible! That's like, it's just worse than an Irish Spring. That's sick! What? It's horrible! Okay. That's my fragrance! You think you know what that is? I don't think so! I don't care who you are! I don't care who you are! As close as an independent promotion in the area that replicates something you may see on national cable as there is. Andrew Alexander added this may seem violent to some onlookers, but it is a family event. It is a very, you're safe bringing your kids here. If I had children, which I don't, I would bring them here. I would allow them to come. I think anybody uh, should bring their kids here. At the end of the day, it's all about entertainment and the fans feel they truly got their money's worth. They work hard for the crowd and they get pumped. They pump up the crowd. I really don't think this is ever going to be a career option for me. In Rossville, Georgia, James Mahon, WDEF News 12. Just the biggest adrenaline rush you could probably get. 
And it just, you just keep adding on to it, and you know, you know, there was no TV back home. You know what I mean? Climb in my bed, I'll take you for a ride up city streets, down country roads. I can get you where you need to go, 'cause I'm a country boy. Some rodeo fans were lost for words, while others couldn't keep the excitement in. For the bulls, it was downtime. Women were showing it wasn't just a man's world out there. While I was learning that I was a long way off, the standard needed to be a man in the south. It's very high up here. Uh, yeah. get higher. Speaking of men, some voluntarily throw themselves at bulls. You got a guy knocked out and a bull spinning around. We're gonna, we're gonna step in there between that joker and uh, let the bull hit us. Kind of, you know, we're kind of like a, a wrecking dummy. The men behind the event sure know how to have a fundraiser. Fundraiser for the operations of Alhambra Shrine. We uh, have a radio, rodeo to uh, raise funds uh, for the operations of our temple. I think my college experience was more classroom based than this kid. So I started getting in schools and going to schools, uh, Gary LaVue's Bull, Bull Ryan Bullfighting School out in uh, Graham, Texas. Went out there, come back a whole new person. I'd be glad to come back in one whole piece. Rocking it out and learning the southern way in Athens, Tennessee, James Mahon, WDF News 12. Talking about this and sort of teasing you all morning long, it's our own James Mahan reporting from way, way far away. James Irish Mahan, good morning, sir. The seaside village right on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. I'm joined by a fantastic traditional Irish musician, that's Jacqueline McCarthy. Jacqueline, why is traditional Irish music so important here in the west coast of Ireland? Well, I think it's the heart and soul of Ireland. It's people come from all over the world to hear the music. It's been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. <laughs> I suppose we could say, like, and the folks out there listening, they could say, um, Is Misha, and then their name. Uh, Is Misha Brian, Is Misha James, Is Misha Sheila. Mm -hmm. um, and then th that's a little bit about it. And then they'll say, um, Connus a too. It means, How are you? Connus a too. Um, and the great thing about the Irish language is it's phonetical. So yes. when you read it, we mm -hmm. only have 17 letters. It's, it's, it's manageable. So this is soul food. It's not the healthiest, it's often not the prettiest, but it is truly irresistible. Soul food and good service and Christian folks. Here at CMW Cafe in Chattanooga, if it's not southern, it's not served. Tension, it's the seasoning. Uh, you know, we, we use old, just southern style seasoning, you know, plain old salt and pepper and a few other secrets that we won't reveal, but uh, basically it's, it's just, we put a lot of love in what we do. I asked a man of God about soul food, wondering about its connection to the Bible or not. Home cooked meal with uh, mothers or grandmothers' special uh, recipes, say for example for fried chicken or greens or mashed potatoes. So it wasn't too much about religion at all, it was more about chicken, good times and family times. CNW Cafe had a lot of happy people. I, well, I like corn, so. That's the best fried corn I've had in a long time. We must not miss Sunday. This is the best day ever where we get soul food here. If it wasn't for the customers, it wouldn't be a CNW. And it's the customers that keep coming back to let us know that we're doing a good job. And they are pleased with it. A good job is one way to put it. I couldn't stop, even though I wasn't hungry. After rolling off home, I decided to take a leap of faith and take this southern food thing to a different level. They like the smoky sauce. Barbecuing is harder than it looks. It, it all depends on the thickness of the meat, but I usually turn the meat every 15 minutes or so. It's, that's the trick in it. Just keep the meat turned and it'll cook evenly throughout. 
so that's what I was doing wrong. I also started putting water on the meat, thinking it would make it cook slower. Not use what? The, the top on the barbecue grill controls the fire. Now, if you don't have a top, you're going to have to have water to put the fire out. But if you got a top, you're good. But over there in old Memphis, a dry rub rib is boss. Folks down in Georgia. Such a small piece of meat, you get so much flavor, so much texture. And uh, you actually feel like you're being fed. 20 pounds every year and not complaining. James Mahon, WDEF News 12. <laughs> So this is what SEC football is about. UT Vols versus Vanderbilt in the heart of the South. It's loud, it's noisy, it's cold here in Neyland Stadium. I don't really know what's going on, but we'll see in the next few hours. Tailgating is something Americans do in parking lots, and it does not involve fencing or the tails of animals. Probably moonshine, I would say. Yeah, Tennessee, woo! <laughs> There's more ball fans in Nashville, I believe, than Vanderbilt fans. To choose between your wife or girlfriend or Peyton Manning to go for dinner, who would you pick? Definitely Peyton Manning. <laughs> go balls! When Tennesseans tailgate, they also play the sport they are about to watch before it even starts. So probably throwing the ball this is the hardest thing to learn. He wasn't lying. This mysterious Peyton Manning makes it look easy. There you go, there you go. There you go. I received support from sports anchor Rick Nyman. Like the guy said at the program stand, it's pretty crazy, but uh, I sure hope you learn how to throw a football better. Uh, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. <laughs> so playing football wasn't a career option, but there are many other things to do in Neyland Stadium. Hey, say I decided to quit TV and become a cheerleader. What would I have to do to become a cheerleader? First of all, you would have to get in excellent shape, which I'm sure you are, uh, but you'd have to build your endurance and your stamina because it is quite a challenge to stay at your A game at the beginning of the game and have that same stamina during the end of the game. So yeah, no playing, no cheering, maybe dog handling. So no to that also, or maybe banned. Went to Ireland about 10 years ago. We marched in the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. We actually played a, a concert uh, at uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Did I say that right? Yeah, Cathedral. Perfect. Very loud, and I could have just stayed at home to do that, especially if they're coming to visit. This is all about fans and screaming. Tennessee, well, um, it's the biggest school. We love coming here and supporting the football and all those sports programs. So in my efforts to adapt to American life, I've come here to Ultwa to train with the Ultwa Owls, who are 9- and 10-year-old baseball players. They said it would be easy, maybe for them, but not for me. If someone's on first, then you want to throw it right here to second base. Well, why wouldn't they be over there? Well, there would already be someone on first, and then the guy hits it to you, so that the fellow on first is advancing to second. So he might leave, and I'll have nowhere to go but to go over here. But you want to go here because that's the easier route, shorter throw. I didn't know what he was saying, but he was very friendly and supportive. I was taught how to catch. It was hard. Actually, alligator. You keep your glove on the ground, and then you alligator it, and then you throw it to second to him over there. Okay, go, 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 catch it. Woo! There you go. Oh. A familiar face was also calling the shots. Fourth graders and fourth graders, we want stickers. Yeah! Oh, man, I want stickers. And we want stickers. I think you guys should bring me stickers. Give me stars for coaching. One, two, three, ready to Ready back? Are you ready back? But hitting was impossible. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and bread. It seemed like a lot of running around. Coach Legee and my mentor gave their final words. Well, you're starting to get a good pitch recognition. That's what you really need to focus on so that you're not swinging at junk. If you'll do that, then you'll have a better chance of getting on base. Your swing is looking better. It feels pretty good for me. I don't know if it feels really good for you, but I actually thought you did pretty well. Let's go!